morning again everybody we've just received a uh, package from Outback Marine and it's the start of getting my system back online my so we will be adding to this but in, in this here I've got some cables I ordered uh, they're called VE direct okay and in here in here is the brain Siggy can you just get the scissors or a knife and run along that bit of tape there for me please I got the boss here supervising today she's using all the such sharp objects and this is the brains these are the wires and all the other attachments and bits and pieces and as I explained in the last video with this unit here you can connect all sorts of stuff to it this is basically a computer or a CPU okay computing processing unit computer processing unit and you can plug lots of different things in it it's got uh, two USB ports and one USB power port that's power only that's for the uh, monitor you can buy that's for the internet connection and uh, then you've got other Victron products that use like a uh, RJ45 I think it is to plug in or you can use the um, VE Direct and plug them in and at the bottom here you can put a micro SD card in there okay and that'll um, store information and in this little plastic baggie can you open this little plastic baggie for me please love just tip it out on the ground here on the table whoops all right this is the cable pack for the gx unit now here we have the uh the power to the unit in and out uh, and then we have some uh, cables or oh, these are just dead ends they're not wired they're just dead ends and these little gizmos they plug in the bottom in here for you to add all your other stuff like bilge alarms and all those bits and pieces too and uh, yeah I mean look I'll link my other video at the end of this and also in the description um, there's, there's a lot of really good information on this product and I can't wait to get it uh, into the power room installed and all hooked up uh, we do have another couple of things that we will be ordering to plug into it and um, that will take me back to full monitoring including 240 volt monitoring um, everything it'll take me back to full full monitoring of my system online again from anywhere as long as I have a phone signal which of course equates to an internet signal so I can uh, log into the site and see what's going on I'm really 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 excited and I really hope this works um, as advertised uh, it's a Victron product uh, it should work as advertised because I've found their products to be their charge controllers uh, and their uh, battery monitors to be very reliable um, very easy to use and they just work they just and they keep on working so I'm happy to uh, give this one a go all right that's it short short unboxing video explanation of goods and uh, the next time you see this it'll um, be installed in the power room and 
With any luck, it'll be uploaded into the internet. Blooming marvellous. Blooming marvellous. All right? Still a glorious day here today. Glorious. Keep safe, everybody. Bye for now. Hello, everybody. How you going? Bye-bye, Ziggy. She's waving bye-bye. Okay. It's a glorious day. Now, we got the... Um, what's this thing called? Serbo. Unit in. All right. And it's connected via Ethernet to this modem. And this modem's wirelessly connected all the way to the front of the house to the house internet connection, the NBN. Now, we just simply run these cables. We plugged one in here and one into the um, battery monitor, the Bluetooth battery monitor. Now, for the power, we're getting a power model. That's later on, okay? Later on. So, that enables us... Uh, that enables us to see the uh, state of charge and the watts coming off that one charge controller. All right, there are still some changes to come in here as far as Victron gear goes I'm missing a hand I need a hand Siggy please here she comes back to help me again if you can just hold that on the now hold this on here so people can see the whole screen yes so back it out until they can see it yes all right so um, to get into the Victron gear, we just go like that, and it's going to all right, go back here. And as you can see, because we've got all the other Victron gear in the trailer and the car turned off, what you can see here is the smart shunt, which we can get into individually, the uh, charge controller, and the Servo GX. And it's called the power room because that's what this is. This powers my house. I should actually call it the power station, but anyway. And then we connect to that. And then we connect to the internet. There it goes. You didn't see me add that, did you? That was pretty good editing, eh? Now, and you can see the amount of watts is coming out of that single charge controller, and you can see the charging state. All right? Now, when I put the, um, the AC input, I'll never show, because I don't use Victron expensive um, inverters. But the AC loads will show when I put that special power <coughs> shunt in for the AC side. Energy meter. Yeah, the energy meter for the AC side. And we're also going to put in another Victron charge controller so we'll have uh, more sense of what the solar is doing. But for now, uh, that's going to be really, really, really good. So we've only just put this in today, so there's actually no historical data today if we go to today systems overview yeah there, there is no data yet because it's only been running what five minutes yeah ten minutes i've been talking for at least five what what are you pointing at it just last updated five minutes ago five minutes ago well there you go all right, now we can change the frequency of the updates. Um, uh, I don't know what it's set at yet. I'm just showing you what's happening now, how simple it was. It was really simple, wasn't it? It was just plug and play, basically. Yeah. Um, amazing, amazing. All right, so there it is. If you're thinking of uh, getting remote monitoring from your... Uh, iPad and you can see I am online, I'm on the Victron site. Um, 
you're gonna see just how easy it, it is it, it really is easy so yeah uh, to get remote monitoring you will need a bluetooth um shunt a couple of uh wires and if you've got a victron charge control you can add that if you've got two you can add them and you will need the servo gx unit and of course a internet connection um, it does work through wireless as well okay it does have wireless in it or Wi-Fi point okay but we're hardwired and then we Wi-Fi in, uh, into the house wireless into the house okay so there's a quick update on the power room uh, monitoring system um, it works great I didn't have to stress or mess around I didn't sweat too much um, so we've just got to uh, tidy up in here again I'm always tidying up in here whenever I do work but we'll tidy up in here again and uh, get that all out of the way and done absolutely brilliant uh, yeah it's it's not cheap but it's not overpriced either okay um, to get online monitoring happening no matter where you are in the world and when I get the AC side then I'll be able to see the AC uh, meter that monitors the, the, the AC power I'll be able to see what my house is doing while I'm away as well all right that's from the power room there's the servo GX mounted to the wall just got to put the tools away now and we have a beautiful day what's the temperature today What's the time, love? Half past 11 in the morning, and it's what does that say? 33 degrees roundabout, or or um, 84 Fahrenheit. Okay. It's